So what exactly is mental health anyway? Stay tuned, we're gonna get into it. My name is Mrs. Lopez. Uh, my name is Patrick Baird. My name is Miss Jimenez. I'm Celeste Lopez. Hi, I'm Kevin Brown. Sometimes it feels like there's just nowhere to turn. Doors are closing. Things are happening. And we want you to know that there's a space. And that us here within the social work program and the wellness centers are here for you. It can help turn those dark moments to brighter days. And that's what we're here for. It's May, it's Mental Health Awareness Month, and in this advisory video, we're going to talk a little bit more about what we offer here at Tanella Valley for not only our students, our staff, our parents, and the community. There's quite a bit happening. I'm sure you'll find something that you can relate to and benefit from. So come with me on a little journey. We're going to learn a little bit, might think a little bit, reflect a little bit, and move forward a bit. And that's what we're here to do. We're here to move forward. All right. Welcome back. So as I mentioned, it is May. It's Mental Health Awareness Month. And let me go ahead and speak a little bit on mental health awareness. So what are we really talking about here? We're, we are talking about our well-being. We are talking about our state of mind, our coping skills, our sanity, our stress. We're talking about how we respond to life stressors, to life events, what we do for ourselves, what our bodies need, what our minds need, what our spirit needs. Mental health is all encompassing, which means it, it can represent every aspect of an individual. And of course, we should be living this every day, right? We should be taking care of ourselves every day. And yet May is a chance to reaffirm and attest to making sure we do what we need to do to take care of ourselves. Let's start with this one because sometimes there's a stigma about not wanting to say, hey, I'm having a tough time, right? Or, hey, I'm good, don't need any help, but it's okay to not be okay. Everybody has a bad day. Some people have a bad week, a bad month. We've kind of all had a bad year. There's been a lot that has happened. And it's hard to find someone who has not been negatively affected by the pandemic and the lockdowns and the things that have been happening in our communities and across the world. So there's a lot on, there's a lot, that this period, there's a lot. And it's okay to put that into words and say, I need a little help or I'm a little scared or I'm a little stressed. So let's look at some figures here and uh, if need to pause, you can always pause and come back to this. But, um, you know, the data says one in five adults uh, has experienced a mental illness or some kind of mental condition in their life. Now that doesn't mean that it's going to be there forever. It could be something that comes for a couple of weeks or a couple of months at a certain age and then maybe things improve. Uh, some people, uh, it may linger a little bit longer. Um, you know, there are the classic uh, diagnoses and whatnot, uh, like someone who has uh, bipolar disorder or schizophrenia or maybe anxiety or depression. And then there's a lot of people who that might just experience an anxiety or anxious symptoms or depressive symptoms. And they're sad for a period of time or they're going through a struggle for a period of time. And doesn't mean that they're clinically depressed but uh, it still relates to mental health and what the individual is going through. And so it's very common. 
and even amongst youth, as, as shown here, about 17% of those aged 6 to 17 years old uh, have experienced a mental health condition or disorder. And you can look and see some of the breakdowns um, of adults and some different demographic information. Uh, everyone is affected, but some groups uh, may be affected more, or maybe some groups report that they're experiencing problems more than others. Uh, so you can take a look at that. Now, but what do we do with this? So I'll say, okay, so, all right, so um, I've got a problem or I'm experiencing something. How do I reach out? Or maybe I have a friend, right? I've got a friend that is uh, having a tough time. What do I say so that they don't like flip out on me or they don't like log out, right? How do I keep that conversation going? It's tough, but, you know, genuine um, empathy and, and being understanding and say, hey, I'm, I'm, seems like you haven't been yourself lately. Are you doing all right? What's happening? Um, just being present for people can go a long ways. Um, I was going to say, what if it's, if it's not your friend that you're concerned about, that it's actually you that you're concerned about and you don't know what to do. That's why we're here. That's why we're doing this advisory lesson today about mental health and about your mental health and your fam, your, your, you know, your friends, your fam, uh, people that you know, people that you see in the street, everyone's mental health. Uh, there are things here that can really help and it usually starts with one person talking to another individual. Some things to look out for, um, has someone been feeling sad for a prolonged period of time, right? Uh, have they been talking about wanting to, heart, to, to hurt themselves, harm themselves, or even take their own life? Uh, other times, sometimes uh, people are engaging in substance use behavior or other risk-taking behaviors or just feeling overwhelmed. There's quite a few of these. I won't read through all of them, but take a moment to look at this. Uh, even eating, you know, eating more, eating less, sleeping more, sleeping less. These are also common things that uh, people do or, or could do in response to stressors. So just because you're sleeping more or you're eating more or less uh, doesn't mean that like, you know, you have a diagnosable condition, but it could mean that maybe there's something going on in your life that you could benefit from some support or uh, having a chance to talk uh, with someone else to, to find some, some solution. Sometimes it's like this. Maybe you're the parents. Uh, parents see this video as well. Maybe you're unsure what to do for your son or your daughter um, or your child, you know, and you're, you're wondering how to support them. Or maybe that's you and, and you can't get out of the off the couch or can't get out of bed. Um, some days are tough. I'll admit, some days are tough for me to get out of bed. But I get out and I get moving. It's harder for depression to hit a moving target. So I was shared a long time ago to keep moving, keep breathing, and keep talking. Oh, but some days it's like this, right? So, so some days this, some days it's that. Uh, whatever it is, um, that's okay, and we're here to talk about it, right? There's a there's a lot of stress on people's plates right now, so um, it can happen to anyone. And sometimes we we kind of go bug eye, and uh, you know have those. Um, just things are seem to be spinning. It's very common for people to experience a uh, mental health condition or symptoms at some point in their life. These things often pass. Okay? Uh, they're not they're not always things that last for a whole life. They may start later in life, or they might they might be present earlier in life, and then seem to diminish, or or dwindle, or or decrease over time. And that's okay we all might experience something like this at some point in our life. Now, let's go here to the Mental Health Awareness Month calendar of events. What you'll see is something happening every day. And here we are, it is the seventh and we've got um, how to help a friend. So you click on this and it'll take you to This, and hopefully you can see this okay, it's just something that we just went over. Know the common warning signs and how to start the conversation. How to offer support. 
and how to be a, a friend. And sometimes being a friend means doing the tough thing, not the easy thing. The easy thing might be to ignore someone. The tough thing would be to get real with them. Now back to our calendar. Uh, what about for next week? Well, well, each week has a theme. So first week was mental health and equity. Our uh, next week's theme is sexual orientation, gender identity, and teen mental health. And you'll see we've got a questionnaire going on here on Monday, uh, as well as a video to check out. On, a, on the 11th, on Tuesday, there is an event. So it's through Zoom. It's a virtual event. Uh, check that out. There's a little passcode there. And also some resources for LGBTQ uh, youth or those that are um, want to support their, their friends or loved ones that might be LGBTQ um, We've also got an infographic over here on Wednesday and some more YouTube videos. you got to check these things out. Great resources. Um, they're going to do a little answer to the Q&A uh, on Thursday. And then there's also another discussion um, here through Google Meet on Friday. So check that out. Now, the next week, the 17th to the 21st, is drug use and mental health. So we've got a video challenge. If you want to submit a video, a photo, an artwork or piece like a work of art uh, or even like a poetry about how you stay substance free or drug free and what you're doing for your own self-care click on that link and it will take you to a google form where you can easily upload a work of art a video a photo from your phone uh, we have a, a, a group discussion that's going on for 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 those here in sentinel valley just click right here it says uh, that's for google meet and enter the code uh, CV dash talk about it. We'll have some substance abuse resources on Wednesday. Thursday is a parent workshop, six to seven o'clock. Uh, you can click Zoom to register and join that. And uh, as well as on Friday, the twenty-first, there is a guest speaker in recovery. If you've ever wanted to go to like a meeting, like a twelve-step meeting, where people are talking about their recovery from substances, alcohol, drugs, um, check that out. Don't want to miss that. And our last week, the twenty-fourth through the twenty-eighth, is about self-care. All right, we've got an essential oil presentation. Check that out on Monday. On Tuesday, we're promoting our virtual, CV's virtual calming room. Really cool resources and everything from like zoo videos and animal and like funny cat videos to meditation music and uh, relaxing uh, imagery and whatnot. So check that out. Join us on Wednesday for Zumba. Okay, so I remember depression can't hit a moving target. Do the Zumba. That'll be a lot of fun. Okay, you don't want to miss that one. Uh, or yoga. If you're more of a yoga person, we have the, the Google Meet link here on Thursday, the 27th, and some additional resources on Friday. And that is our month of May. And we really hope that you can join us and take part in all of these activities. Self-care the whole month for you, your family, your sisters, your, your mothers, your brothers, your cousins, your tias, your tios, anybody in the family, even your grandparents could probably benefit from that. Invite them to the Zumba. That would be pretty funny and pretty cool. The last thing I'd like to share with you is a video about our wellness centers. Now, for those that haven't been on campus, the wellness center is a place where our school social workers and social work student interns operate out of. They provide different counseling services, resources. Uh, we do individual and group counseling there. We do consultation. We, we, we meet with students. We connect. We talk about stress, talk about relationships, even talk about jobs, all sorts of things. Wellness Center is a safe place and it's a confidential place. So sit back and enjoy this little video.